Gracias. Thank you, uh, Moshmi, for introducing me. Uh, first of all, I thank the organizers for uh, giving me an opportunity to speak here. Uh, so as uh, it's visible, uh, my talk is on Hilbert function of Artinian local computer intersections. So uh, first I will uh, say what are Hilbert functions, even if all of us are familiar. Um, and then I will explain what is my problem, uh, which I worked on and a result uh, which we have got in this direction. Okay, uh, so let me uh, recall. Uh, in my uh, setting, I am assuming that my ring R uh, is either a, a power series ring in R variables or a polynomial ring in R variables, uh, where uh, I assume that uh, the ring is uh, uh, graded with a degree of x i is equal to one. And for me, always uh, the R zero part uh, uh, is is a field. Uh, for an ideal i in R, we uh, we consider the ring A. Uh, to be a uh, quotient of uh, R, uh, R mod I. And in the case of uh, graded ring, I mean that my ideal I is homogeneous in the polynomial ring instead of power series ring. And I denote by uh, this Ri, uh, the uh, ith uh, degree component of the ring uh, uh, R. And uh, by II, I mean the degree I component uh, of uh, the ideal I, which consists of the all homogeneous ideals, uh, elements in the ideal i. So uh, by Hilbert function of a graded ring, we mean uh, a numerical function uh, from natural numbers to natural numbers, which takes uh, the uh, integer uh, i to uh, dimension as a k-vector space of, uh, uh, of uh, ith component of A, uh, which is uh, can be computed from the uh, dimension of the k-vector space ri minus uh, dimension of uh, uh, ii as a k-vector space. So uh, I, I write uh, this uh, M for the maximal ideal uh, 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 generated by X1, X2, XR in, uh, uh, in, in power series ring, uh, also in a polynomial ring. And uh, I denote by this, uh, uh, this small M, the maximal ideal in the local uh, uh, ring uh, uh, R. Uh, so uh, in the local case, uh, what do you mean function of the ring A? I mean that uh, it's a Hilbert function of the, uh, maximal ideal, uh, which, which is a uh, function of the uh, graded ring, a uh, graded ring of i, which is uh, given by uh, uh, this, uh, which is the sum of mi over mi plus one. So this uh, ring uh, plays an important role in singularity theory. Um, I will not go into details uh, uh, here. Uh, so this is what we mean by the function of the local ring uh, A. So what is uh, our problem is, uh, so before coming to that, let me uh, recall a nice theorem due to Macaulay, uh, where he characterized all possible numerical functions that can occur as the Hilbert function of uh, some uh, standard graded K algebra. So this uh, this criteria is very nice. Uh, so uh, by an O sequence, uh, we mean a numerical uh, sequence of integers uh, h uh, that satisfies the Macaulay's criteria. Uh, that is h0 is uh, 1 and uh, so this uh, and I define this notation hi upper bracket i so this is some condition on the uh, this sequence of integers whenever we have uh, this condition uh, so they call they put that there is a uh, graded algebra uh, which um, for, for with the function uh, h whenever we have this criteria on h uh, so this uh, uh, result of macaulay uh, raises the following question uh, so suppose you have a O sequence uh, to begin with. So uh, can we characterize uh, the Hilbert functions of uh, 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 graded or local K algebra with additional properties uh, like uh, domain or reduce or common intersection and so on. Uh, so in this talk, uh, we want to characterize the Hilbert functions of uh, um, of algebras with the property being uh, uh, Gorenstein and uh, common intersection. Uh, rings. So we want to study uh, which numerical functions can be occur as a function of uh, Goldstein or commercial section algebras. So this is a, a, a deep uh, problem. Uh, so before uh, coming to 
uh, my result, let me uh, let me uh, recall what we know uh, in certain cases. Uh, so as I, as I said before, this is a largely open problem, but uh, we know in certain cases uh, some results. What we know. Uh, so before uh, saying the result, uh, let me set uh, uh, to the uh, uh, let me reduce my problem to the Artinian case. So uh, I am reducing this. Uh, a problem to the Artinian case because sometimes we can reduce uh, the problem entirely to this case, and also this is an important case which is uh, open even in this special case. So for the moment, I'm assuming that my ring is Artinian, and uh, by S I denote the so-called degree of A, uh, which uh, by which we mean that the largest uh, i so that the uh, power of uh, uh, a m or to the power i is non-zero. Uh, because A is Artinian, we know that some power of M is zero and the largest non-zero power of uh, maximal ideal, we call this a so-called degree of A. Uh, so our, we assume that the ring uh, A is Artinian with the so-called degree S. Uh, so uh, by a CI sequence, I mean a computer section sequence. Uh, by this, uh, we uh, mean that uh, if we have a numerical sequence H, we say it's a CI sequence if there exists a uh, computer section algebra with the Hilbert function as H. And similarly, uh, by a Gonostein sequence, uh, I mean uh, uh, a numerical sequence, uh, which is realizable for a Gonostein uh, K algebra. Uh, so uh, Macaulay, uh, against the classical result, uh, classified uh, the uh, numerical sequences uh, that can occur as the Hilbert function of uh, computer section algebra or a Gonostein K algebra. Uh, because they are equivalent in this case when we have a uh, uh, co-dimension two here. Uh, so uh, he proved that uh, uh, the sequence uh, of uh, uh, of this form where we are in the co-dimension two case, one, two, and uh, this uh, has to be one because I'm assuming that uh, my ring is Gorenstein. Uh, so then this is a, uh, this is a, a Gorenstein sequence if and only if the difference between the successive HI uh, is at most one. Uh, so this is the uh, result uh, non uh, macaulay since long back. Uh, but um, so when we go to the higher, uh, any question? Yeah, so when we go to the higher codimension instead of two, if you look at the higher codimension, uh, what we know. Uh, so here there are many uh, things are uh, not yet known. For example, uh, this is a result of uh, in the, when you take uh, one three sequence, so codimension three case, so here, uh, uh, due to a uh, nice result of Mustafa and Eisenberg, uh, we can uh, prove the following result in the uh, graded setting, uh, by which uh, we mean that our uh, algebra that we realize is a graded ring. Uh, so what we know is the following. Uh, suppose you have a, a numerical sequence, uh, one, three, uh, and so on. Um, then uh, this is realizable by a Gonstein K algebra, uh, which is graded if and only if, uh, first of all, uh, this has to be symmetric uh, H vector. Uh, and uh, moreover, if you look at uh, the difference of uh, uh, the numerical sequence obtained by taking the difference of uh, uh, successive terms here, uh, 1, uh, 2, H2 minus H1, uh, and so on, like more generally HI minus uh, HI minus HI minus 1, uh, then this numerical sequence should be again an O sequence. So whenever, uh, this is if and only if criteria, that means whenever we have a, uh, numerical sequence, which is a O sequence satisfying these two conditions, uh, it's realizable uh, by a graded Gaussian K algebra. Uh, uh, and once you go uh, beyond uh, uh, codimension uh, three, uh, so so many things are uh, uh, open. Uh, and now, uh, once I uh, go to the uh, commutative section case, uh, once you go beyond codimension two, they are not equivalent to each other. Uh, but uh, but here. In the case of grade computer section uh, rings, we know how exactly how the Hilbert function uh, look like. This can be easily written using the degree of uh, the uh, of the genitor of the ideal i and the embedding dimension. So this is pretty easy. Uh, but now, if I just remove the assumption of uh, graded here instead of ask the question for the local case, this is completely open even in the uh, codimension three case. So that's what our uh, problem is about. Uh, so, uh, I'm coming to the local case now. So, we can, we ask the following question, uh, which uh, numerical sequence can occur as a function of Artinian local computer section K algebra. 
or more generally emotional key algebras. So this is a widely open problem, uh, of course, for any code dimension. And the thing is uh, known, uh, uh, almost the thing is known in, in code dimension three also. Uh, so uh, what we do uh, is, uh, Yeah, so what we do is that uh, we uh, we assume uh, the, the, this, this is a difficult problem because by definition, the Hilbert function of A is the Hilbert function of the asteroid ring of A, which need not have nice uh, properties even if uh, the ring A has nice properties. For example, it can happen that A is Gonofian, the ring, uh, asteroid ring of A may not be Gonofian. So uh, this is a difficult, uh, this is the reason why this problem is very difficult. So what we do in this work is that we assume that uh, uh, the simplest case, uh, which we can think of after co two is uh, take uh, ideal i in the power series ring in three variables. And uh, suppose I generated by three elements, f, g, p uh, is a complete section ideal. Uh, and uh, the order of the elements here is uh, two. So this is the next simplest case we can think of. So that by this, uh, we mean that our elements, uh, uh, the, the function of uh, h, of A will be of the form 1, 3, 3. So uh, instead of taking arbitrary uh, L, arbitrary H2, we are now assuming that our H2 is also 3. So under this assumption, we classify all possible Hilbert functions of uh, complete section K algebra. Uh, so uh, before setting my result, let me, uh, let me let me use some notation here. So I denote by max H uh, the uh, maximum of HI uh, occurring in this numerical sequence uh, H. And uh, by delta H, I mean uh, the maximum of uh, uh, maximum of uh, the difference of H minus H minus one. So uh, maximum jump we have in the uh, numerical uh, uh, sequence H. So uh, once we have this one, uh, we have the following result. Uh, so let me explain this result. So what we prove that uh, uh, a numerical sequence H uh, suppose it's the O sequence and uh, the assumption our is that we are in code dimension three and plus uh, our H2 here is uh, three. So the ideal generated by ideal contains uh, three elements of order uh, two. Uh, so then uh, the following are equivalent, these three conditions. So uh, we say, we prove that a numerical sequence H is a, a complete section sequence if and only if this is a also a Gaussian sequence, uh, which is uh, usually uh, usually not uh, 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 true, surprising. Uh, so, uh, so H is a complete section sequence, if not if H is a Gaussian sequence. And moreover, uh, we have a numerical criteria for the sequence of the form H uh, to be realizable by a CI uh, algebra. What is this numerical criteria? Is the following. Uh, so, uh, so uh, first of all, by Macaulay, we know that once H2 is three, uh, Macaulay's uh, bond will, say that, will tell us that H3 can be at most four. Uh, and in the case of H3 at most uh, three, uh, we prove that any O sequence which has H3 at most three is realizable by a uh, Gaussian K algebra. And not, uh, uh, this is a this is a first case. And the second case is that the number H3 is four and uh, the jump uh, of uh, 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 of the terms in the uh, sequence is uh, one, then also it is realizable by any uh, Gaussian K algebra. And when uh, the jump, uh, so we prove that the jump uh, of, the, of the terms here cannot exceed two, okay? So the, the jump has to be at most two. And uh, when the jump that jump is uh, at, uh, equal to one, uh, it's uh, realizable by a Gaussian sequence, a uh, Gaussian algebra. Uh, when the jump is two, then uh, we show that uh, uh, they have, there can be at most one jump by two, and not just that, the position of the jump by two is the peak position of the uh, sequence. So, uh, so there are uh, this criteria. So this completely uh, classifies the numerical sequences that can occur as the Hilbert function of uh, uh, Gaussian K algebra. Um, and uh, so, so that this, uh, uh, this sequence, uh, we can write explicitly how it looks like. So it will have, suppose uh, D is the maximum of 
integers that occurs in the numerical sequence H, then uh, then there will be it will increase up to uh, up to its sequence D, and then there is a drop by two at the peak position. That means uh, at the uh, after D it it, uh, it descends to D minus two, and uh, and after that there is no jump by two in the numerical sequence. So this is how uh, the numerical sequence uh, will look like if it is reliable by a uh, Gaussian K algebra. So let me uh, come to some examples uh, before uh, commenting on uh, its proofs. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll just uh, say examples. Suppose I take uh, the sequence uh, uh, here. Uh, now here we have uh, nine terms. So, so the so-called degree of, uh, of uh, the sequence is uh, eight. Uh, okay, so here uh, it, this is example uh, uh, which we have taken from the paper of uh, Arabino and uh, uh, M. Marquez. So they have essentially proved that this algebra is not realizable by a Gaussian K algebra. So they use different methods to prove that uh, there is no uh, Gaussian K algebra with the Hilbert function uh, given here. Okay, but this uh, example can be easily uh, uh, we can easily say that this is not a Gaussian sequence using our result. Why? Because uh, so here we have a numerical sequence of the form which we have considered a uh, one three one three three uh, okay and here we have four here uh, so uh, where is the jump by two so the jump by two is occurring from four to two here okay uh, so there is only one jump by two in this uh, sequence but our our theorem says that the jump by two cannot can occur only at the peak position so the jump by two can occur only at uh, from pi to uh, the next position. So, so it's not a, a Gaussian sequence using our theorem. Uh, so that we can easily uh, say that this is not a Gaussian sequence uh, um, using our uh, result. Similarly, uh, let's look at this example. Uh, okay. Uh, so here also we have a one, three, three, four sequence with the uh, uh, jump by two. Again, uh, he, this is not a Gaussian sequence because uh, the jump by two is occurring from here to here, where the peak position is uh, is uh, is here. Okay, so that uh, this is again a Gaussian sequence. This example also taken from the book of Arabino, uh, where he gives uh, some other argument uh, to say that uh, it's not a Gaussian uh, sequence. Uh, so let me uh, now come to some example where we actually construct a ideal uh, with the Hilbert function uh, given. Uh, so as I remarked before, uh, once uh, we have a one three three sequence with H three at most uh, three. Uh, then uh, the ideal uh, uh, we construct uh, is a uh, is is a constructive proof, uh, and uh, here uh, we give uh, the inverse system of the ideal uh, i, uh, and um, and uh, so that the ideal we get uh, here is a commutative section ideal uh, with the Hilbert function h. Okay, uh, so we give an explicit uh, inverse system uh, of uh, in, in the divided power ring. So that the annihilator of the ideal has uh, has the Hilbert function. Uh, this and is a complete section ideal. Uh, and uh, in this case of one three three four, our our proof is again constructive. Uh, when we have a jump at the peak position, uh, we actually construct a, a complete section ideal with the Hilbert function H uh, using uh, using uh, a different method. So here our idea is to reduce to the co-dimensional two case and then uh, use uh, uh, use the uh, knowledge of uh, results which we have in co-dimension two, and again uh, use this uh, construction to come back to co-dimension three, uh, so that our the ideal which we get has the Hilbert function H and is also a commutation ideal. So that is what how we construct. Uh, I'm just uh, giving you a, a formula for the ideal I here against the commutation ideal uh, with the Hilbert function uh, H here. Uh, okay, uh, so I will uh, stop here. I will just uh, skip this uh, sketch and thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, in our theorem, we actually uh, can construct the ideal with the weak part Hilbert function. Not in general, not in general, but in our result, yes, we can. Yes, there's an algorithm. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, no. Actually, H two H three is equal H two equal to three was very special case where uh, where we can also uh, also see how the I the I two part will look like the F G P uh, in the ideal I they are of uh, particular nice form. So that's why we can do many reductions to codemption two case. Stop the recording on Zoom. Okay. Um, hold on. <laughs> 